What's up, what's up, knife people? Uh, D's Knives back again with uh, some more knife content for you guys. Um, finally got some time this weekend to shoot the video. Um, got the day off, so actually thank you to all the troops out there. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, uh, wouldn't have the day off, obviously, to shoot this video. So, again, shout out to you guys, Memorial Day. Um, so, today I got this uh, unboxing for you guys. This one's coming from uh, GP Knives. Uh, again, good uh, dealer. Um, have a lot of different stock for you guys. Um, they got a lot of uh, stuff that sometimes people don't have. So, let's get this going. Waited uh, since the 18th. So, I've had it about a week, a little more. Uh, just better wait for the right time to open it. Uh, kind of a special knife. It is a, a first time, or uh, my first, my very first, I should say. So again, go through all these peanuts. Let me make sure there's no paperwork in here that needs to get taken out. Okay. Take a little peek. Ooh, like this, yes, sir. That's what we want. Love that. See? Blade HQ. <clears throat> <clears throat> Learn something, y'all. That's giving stickers. Way to go, GP Nice. Woo! That. Take note, you guys. Take note, vendors. Please. Please. Let's get these peanuts. And. Here we go. So, nothing else in there, but a bunch of peanuts I gotta clean up now. So again, I'm a little excited here, guys. Sorry if I ramble on, but this is my first ever ProTech. I'm sure a lot of you know. Um, I am in uh, California, so Let's see what I picked. Uh huh. Nice box. Nice little baggie. Let's see here. Uh huh. Here we go. So, and first off, it's a lot smaller than I thought, but. It might not even matter for me because, ooh, look at this, nice and greasy. So for those of you that don't know, this is the um, Les George Blade Pro Tech um, Design uh, SBR. I think he called it short barrel rifle. Um, okay, I'm gonna do that. Here's a little bit of the goodies inside there. Let me go ahead and wipe this guy down here. So I was gonna show you guys that in a little bit also. Didn't know what to expect too much on my first uh, automatic here. So, um, let's see here. Some of this grease off. Get my first little impressions. Weight is not bad. Again, let's do a little close up. I love these little holes in the back, like that. Pretty cool. Aluminum handles. It's a stainless steel pocket clip, deep carry. Centering. Let's see if a better picture on the money. On the money. Short barrel down the barrel. Check it out. So yeah, let's uh get this baby a fire. Here we go. One, two. Wow, that is sweet, man. I love it. That blade is awesome, guys. Some bit of like I know you guys can pick that up, see the 
kind of some drag marks on the metal. I don't mind it too much, but I wonder if that's part of the the metal. I don't think it is, but take a closer look at it. You can see those groove lines. This might have to go back. That's why I open this unboxing stuff for you guys to see all this little stuff thing. So quality control. We'll have to see. For my first pro tag, it doesn't look too good, but uh, you can see those little gash marks in the blade. There you go, see them? Anyways, but aside from that, S35 VN blade. I'll read off the specs for you. It is 6.50 inches, 6.5 inches overall length from handle to tip. Uh, 2.6 inch blade 2.5 <clears throat> of cutting so you lose a little bit here with the choil sharpening choil that is nice but look at this blade yo this is this is an awesome blade check that out look at that blade that's george design very nice that's what gravitated me towards this knife was the blade itself. Look at that, sweet. The swedge. I kind of actually like the gash marks, but I'll take a closer look at that later. That's why I like to give you guys my first impressions and do the unboxing, because you never know what to expect. Again, nice jumping. Feels good in the hand get uh four fingers on it um nice little action you can get there so definitely nice blade nice working blade um let's try the action one more time Woo! nice punch i like it daddy like it's all about that action boss that is nice action though. Oof. Very sweet. So this will be a uh, probably couch potato knife for me. Uh, so this will be on the couch with me most of the time. Doubt it's going to go out anywhere with me. Uh, obviously because I can't carry it legally. So um, that's a bit of a bummer. Um, anyways, I'll show you some more of the knife. Uh, overall ounces is 3.05 ounces, so three ounces give or take. Um, handle length is 0.5, so half an inch thick. Um, <clears throat> closed length is 3.75 inches. So that's your closed length. Sorry for my dirty hands, but I was outside working. There it goes. Shake this off a little bit here. Um, so again, very impressed with the first first uh, impression. My very first ProTech uh, craftsmanship looks pretty well done. Aside from this blade uh, tumble, not sure what that is. I'm gonna have to take a look at that again uh aesthetics i mean this knife looks badass i mean i actually thought it was a little bigger but um i actually like that it's small um don't know what the big fuss is over two inch 2.5 inches but um nevertheless gotta follow the law so very nice knife um gonna definitely have a lot of fun with it that action feels awesome uh, so function, function is great. Centering is perfect. Tolerance is the pretty tight. I mean, as tight as you're gonna get aluminum. Um, the chamfering around these edges is good. Don't feel any rough spots. Um, feels pretty good. So again, I'm squeezing pretty hard. Um, 
nothing immediate that pops out don't feel this pocket clip um, availability for this guy is uh, GP knives has this one this model I'm actually glad I got this one this acid wash is pretty sweet um, they had a satin blade I think at blade HQ but I like this working finish better um, they had a blue one also at blade, HQ, at blade HQ with this same finish and like a blue scale but I think it actually looks better in black now that I have it just kind of all fits together a little better um, kind of matches the etching on the um, right here on the blade just kind of goes a little better I think so again take a quick look at it oops sorry so we'll go pocket clip inside looks like solid aluminum all the way through not sure what that number means but there's the blade awesome there it is Man. very sweet really digging the knife digging this blade Very nice. Thick spine. Thick spine gets pretty right at the bottom. Very nice tip. Grind looks good. Seems to match. So, looks pretty good. I think now uh, affordability, I didn't hit that. It cost me 170 um that's pretty much the price they're going for right now um for an automatic knife uh, that's pretty much what they're going for um i saw another one the tron design calmigo which was the other choice that i was looking at um but again the that one had cpm 154 i think and i like the s35en better <clears throat> so i went with this one even though it's a little bigger I have to leave it at home. It's really just gonna be a sit at home knife for me um, and just kind of do that with. Um, so, very nice. I like it. Um, I'll probably do a little more in depth review later. Um, just uh, again, I'm getting so many knives in that I want to make sure I, uh, you know, hold them and use them for a little while before I give you guys a complete review. So now that I don't need this, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a cut test, of course. See what it looks like here. Nice. No shards. Very nice. Obviously not a laser. It is very sharp. So, yep, yeah, very nice blade. Obviously the geometry is a little different. You get a little thicker under the blade here, as you can see. So, what I'm gonna use it for, um, the blade's not gonna matter too much for me. So, again, very nice knife, sharp out of the box. And uh, really digging this uh, acid wash here. So, I'll end here on a little comparison. Um, and actually for first timers, I want to um, kind of show this off real quick. My friend Steve uh, let me borrow this. Um, I'm gonna try to do a review on this one as well. Uh, my first hinder, um, I don't even know which one it is. I just know it's, uh, it's obviously a fatty because this is <laughs> really a beefcake knife. So, I mean, in comparison to this one, I mean, I thought it would be kind of nice to compare them. So, I'm sorry for the bad flip, guys. But, wow, look at the difference. <laughs> Major difference. So, I just thought I'd put that out there for silliness. So, again, let's do a real size comparison. I'll check that out later and give you guys my first impressions on Enders, since I don't have one of those either. So actually more appropriate, I guess, is the comparison with the Delica. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that down here. 
And here I brought out all these other knives thinking I was going to compare them to that, but let's pull this one out since I have it here as well. Um, working on the review for this as well. The Quiet Carry um, Chase. So again, a couple seven inch knives here. Uh, again, the Protect is half an inch shorter. So here we go. It's kind of your... Pretty cool, huh? So, pretty nice. So we'll do one more little comparison here. I'll do it with the uh, Para 2 M4. And I will do the, um, take this one off here and I will do this uh, Benchmade Super Freak. And check these out here. Yeah. These are bigger eight inch knives. So again, way smaller, not even close. So it does dwarf this automatic knife that it's apparently illegal and everybody has such a big fuss over but yeah i don't see the big deal so anyways one more comparison since i got it out here this is also a beautiful knife i haven't showed this enough on camera but one of my favorite knives as well the uh first production benchmade super freak and i'll switch it off with this here um, I got this Manix 4V in carbon, I mean, uh, marbled carbon fiber. That'd be another quick comparison to that. Another big knife, but it'd be nice to show it off here. Put the Delica back in there. Here we go. Let's have at it. So, a couple more comparisons for you guys. And the wind's picking up on all my stuff. So, before it gets any crazier out here, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. Um, I'll show this one real quick too while I'm at it. This is a beautiful knife. Again, the 4V carbon marble fiber, frayed and lock exclusive. And that's it with the saber grind. 4V and see here we got your Delica. Put this out of the way here and take one last look at this. No reason we're here, and I want to give this knife uh, my unboxing first impression. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. And uh, again, you know, lucky you guys that can carry these knives without having any issues. But um, again, I'll try to give you a review as soon as I can on this one. And um, that's the kick action for you guys. And um, Les George, ProTech. Damn. And as always, guys, if you like it, thumb it up. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you for watching. Later.